Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Study Nepal. Uh, today I am making a powerful computer which you can uh, make yourself or you can assemble yourself and it is portable also. This all is possible uh, just by a credit card uh, size Raspberry Pi. Uh, by the help of this Raspberry Pi you can make your own computer which will be very powerful. Uh, this Raspberry Pi contains a 4 GB RAM uh, due to which or from which we can run any program which you want any coding which you want to do you can do or any project you which you want to make you can make you can make a robotic project you can make a voice recognition project you can run youtube in this computer you can play any game in this computer you can assemble it yourself uh, it doesn't matter how much is your age if you know a basic concept of raspberry pi you can make it yourself in your home and it looks like such i have just assembled it and how i have assembled uh, what we have to do everything i have told in this video uh, please look this video till the last you will get an idea and you can make your own super fast working computer uh, in a less budget uh, which is less than a hundred dollar or we can say within uh, the range of ten thousand you can make your own computer in your home or wherever you go so without any delay let's start today's video so these all are the things required uh, to make the raspberry pi as a computer so one by one i am going to describe it uh, this one is the main Raspberry Pi, which is Raspberry Pi model 4 uh, B plus. Uh, it contains 4 GB RAM. So you can get a Raspberry Pi cheaper than this also. That is the older model. You can use Raspberry Pi 3 also, uh, which is cheaper uh, than this. Uh, this one is the mouse, which I use in this Raspberry Pi. This one is the keyboard. Both can be correct by using this dongle, or you can use your own uh, wire mouse and wire keyboard also. Uh, this one is the uh, cable which have to connect the monitor uh, to the raspberry pi uh, from this hdmi port this one is the monitor which i use for raspberry pi if you don't have such type of monitor then you can use the monitor which you have in your home uh, this is the camera module which i use for my raspberry pi computer and uh, this is the sound speaker which helps to give sound while playing youtube or other videos and this is the power cable which helps to provide 3 ampere plus current for the raspberry pi uh, from this type c port and here it contains the sd card which contains the operating system which is used by the raspberry pi i will put this sd card later on on my raspberry pi so those are the materials required to make a raspberry pi as a computer now i'm going to assemble one by one to make a full computer and i will use it now put your SD card inside the card reader and insert it inside your laptop and whenever you open the laptop and in your laptop open the chrome browser and source download software for raspberry pi and then after you will see www.raspberrypi.com and click the link there or download site will open it takes some time to download if your laptop is of mac then you can click that link otherwise you have to click on the window tab so whenever you click then the pi imager or raspberry pi imager will open and after a while whenever you click the raspberry pi imager which you have downloaded just now then you choose the options in the operating system if your laptop is a 32 bit operating system then you click the first one otherwise you source and uh, get the 64 bit operating system in storage you choose the sd card option in setting you put the name of your raspberry pi by default there is already raspberry pi and you have to put the wi-fi password so that whenever you operate it then the wi-fi will be connected automatically and after doing these all if you click on the right then the operating system will be inserted inside your sd card and uh, then put your sd card inside the raspberry pi now so that you will get the operating system back to the raspberry pi now i'm putting the raspberry pi here now i'm attaching the monitor on the wall so along with the raspberry pi i have kept the monitor Now I'm going to connect uh, this mini HDMI port inside the Raspberry Pi. So this I have connected. Now I'm going to connect uh, the keyboard and mouse dongle here. This one also get connected. Now I'm going to attach the camera module here. So. The camera module is attached on the wall. Now, now I am pulling out the camera wire connector outside. 
uh, then I am keeping the wire of camera inside that connector facing the blue color uh, toward the side of audio jack now I have two tasks to do I have to provide the power cable uh, for my Raspberry Pi and I have to connect the audio jack and USB jack on the Raspberry Pi so I am connecting the same this one is the aux cable so I am connecting the jack here and this one is speaker cable for its power so this also get connected now I am going to connect the power cable here type C port for the power ok as I have given power from the power socket that's why the red and green light both are blinking because the Raspberry Pi is on the process of booting this is all we can see on the display but we have to give power for the display also from the Raspberry Pi so let's have the connection this goes to the USB port as every connection is fine now now sooner we can see the display uh, in the screen from the Raspberry Pi So yes, the Raspberry Pi computer is working and this all is the overall setup required for it. At first I am going to open the programming interface. The programming ID is opening here, you can do any coding here, new file. So you can do the coding here also and so you can you can play a game, you can use calculator, you can use many more here and you can download the required thing. Uh, so now I am going to open the interface to open the camera. Let's see it works or not. I am going to zoom it out. Shift Ctrl plus. And the screen will be zoomed as you can see. Now I am dialing here. sudo respy configure so as the screen is opening here and now you can uh, do the setting whatever you want so when I go on the interface option third option and the can camera is enabled I'm going to enable it okay on the same way whatever you want to do you can do the options here and you can close by using the tab and finish so now I'm going to opening the camera and uh, let's look how it seems that is res pi still dot o use a and jpg so as you can see the camera is working here and I am looking here so here is the browser so if I dial here YouTube uh, Google also already came now let's dial a YouTube YouTube. so here is the YouTube and the net is also working uh, if the net is not working then you can use the net cable and you can connect on the interface or uh, the port is already given here you can connect here so let's play a song
So how is the today's video? If you uh, really enjoy this video and if you get some knowledge, then don't forget to subscribe this channel. If you want to recommend something about this video or if you want to say uh, what I have to make in the future, uh, any science project, if you have to recommend, then you can comment in the comment box. Uh, for today this much, like such experiment video or educational video I'll bring next time also. Till that time, have a good day. Bye-bye.